How did PCK, a Singaporean contractor, become colleagues with Cristiano Ronaldo? Hi everyone, our case study today is about someone who made a very successful career transition into digital. This candidate does not have any digital experience and was working in a traditional industry as a contractor for the last 20 over years. Yet, he recently landed a high-profile, high-visibility role in Singapore as the brand ambassador for a leading e-commerce company. Let's take a closer look at his profile and what we can learn from him in this career change. His name, Mr. Fua Chu Kang, also called PCK. He was born in one of the most well-known Singapore sitcoms, as the lead character. He always appeared in a huge wig over his head and he has a huge mole. His signature yellow boots are classic, although recently he seemed to be wanting to change it because he was seen shopping for shoes in a trip to Orchard Ayang. For 10 years from 1997, Mr. PCK was a contractor and boss at PCK Private Limited. He later spun off PCK Sandarian Bahad. So how did this candidate become colleagues with Ronaldo? In case you don't know who Ronaldo is, he plays soccer sometimes. But he is most well known for a song staying at top of chart for the longest ever in human history called Baby Shark Do 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 Do. Mr. PCK's competitors are very strong. And the strongest competitor of all is the very well-loved Granny Liang Popo. She is good friends with Abing's gangsters in Singapore and even capable of bank robbery. Granny Liang Popo is a bit mature at 85 years old, but it's not a problem since she's always in search of a new life and keeps coming back to the real world. Lastly, PCK has failed many times in interviews because of language skills. In fact, all Singaporeans had problems with his language skills. They refused him to represent Singaporeans in the amazing race because he speaks Singlish too well. It is a little unfair because Singlish is the most effective language, speaking which you will be able to speak Mandarin, English, Malay, and a few dialects all at one go contractor and part-time singer, a scary high benchmark set by a colleague who sings way better, a fierce, fierce 85-year-old competitor plus unappreciated language skills. How did Mr. PCK complete his career change? Here are a few points I took away. 1. Plan early, start small. PCK knew that he hit a career bottleneck. He was already the best contractor in Singapore, JB, and some say Batam. So you see, he ran the company till 2011, but he already started his singing career in 2003. In Don Pripri Fat Sars today, although all he did was teaching people how to wash hands. This brings us to our second point. Create mini projects to accumulate career experience. PCK did multiple mini projects, even though working as a singer in the train in 2009, poking people to give their seats to someone else. Although such mini projects doesn't seem to be great or pay very well, it's important to explore without any expectations because they give us experience in a new domain and also leads to recognition from the industry. For example, after specializing in hand washing, PCK got the project when COVID-19 hit to, again, teach people how to wash hands. This built his competitive edge and he could then overtake his competitors. Point 3. Embrace your true identity. PCK did not do laser surgery to remove the mole. He also didn't bother to trim his long pinky nails since it's functional for him. He knows who he is and lives to that truth. For example, he is right not to become an investment banker because he would be forced to give up his current fashion style. 
So these are the three things we can learn from PCK. One, plan early and start small. Two, create mini projects for experience. Three, embrace your true identity. Let's wish PCK all the best in his new ambassador career and hope he will get less annoying songs in the future.